Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. And I have had some requests to show how I take a post album, so the, oops, so the kind that are post bound and how I turn them into a ring bound. So now these are the, the largest rings and I get these, I mean these are the largest ones I find. Um, the Dollar Tree carries them for a dollar. So I usually, whenever I'm in the Dollar Tree and I see, I pick up a couple packs. Um, so all you need is two of the binder rings. And then what you do is you want to take off this clear cover. And then I always take off this, and this is, I pick these 12 by 12 albums up when they go on sale at Michael's for $5. Um, because I can turn them into ring binders and pretty much get, you know, a couple inches of layouts on that. So, what you need is obviously the rings, screwdrivers. I always have a Phillips and a flathead. Um, I, go, I get rid of that part and I fold this up. And then you gotta do the same on the back side. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah, okay. Probably need to move you over a little bit. All right. I'm right-handed. So the, the very small Phillips is what I'm gonna hold in my right hand because that's gonna be the one I screw with. The reason you need two is because, let me I flip this over, is you have to hold one because it'll just spin, obviously. So I get it all set up, all right, and I just, I get it in there, I gotta twist it just a little bit, like this, so that I can hold it down like that, and then I flip that over, and while keeping pressure on that, I go to the other side, and obviously righty tighty lefty loosey, okay, until I can get it and there it is and see if you didn't have the one holding it let me kind of show you here if you didn't have this screwdriver holding when you did that it would just spin and you would never get it loose now I do save these and I have no idea why but I do and then the tricky part is the second one because now you're not held together so same thing I'm gonna get it angled the right way and I'm just gonna hold it and then I'm gonna flip everything over and I'm gonna get in there I'm gonna untwist it you just gotta really break it free okay and there you go. See now it's all going to fall apart. And then this piece right here. I mean you can keep it, but it's no good anymore. So then you have all of these that came with the, the album. And you take your ring. What you're going to do is you're going to loop it this way. And you're going to loop it into this one. And I always lock it just to make sure. You're going to do the same thing down here. In this way. And you have to open them up. Otherwise, it'll take up too much of the ring. All right. And then whenever you're ready to put your layouts in, you just slip them in, back in. Close it up. But as you can see, So now that's how, and so this is now so much more room than that. 
Let me pull you up a little bit. So see how much more room you have here. Let me find a ruler. So now you have roughly three inches of space to where before you only had an inch. So see, so you got three inches and an inch. And it's as simple as that. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Click that subscribe button below and any questions or comments that you have, let me know. And thanks. Bye.